What's up, y'all? It's my Eagles 215 reporting back at y'all with another video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you can, hold that thumb, hit that thumbs up button, guys, to help me get this video to 15 likes. Also, if you can, hit that bell to get a ring ding ding so you can know when I upload new videos. Excuse my camera, guys. It's doing the auto zoom thing. Uh, but bear with me. Um, I'm doing my bold predictions, and this is basically for the 2019 uh, Eagles uh, season. So, you know, this is basically out of fun. It's not, you know what I mean? It's, a, it's just my opinion and what I think, you know what I mean? So we're just having fun with this, and um, the games do have to be played, and this is if everything goes right and everybody just about stays healthy, which some nine times out of ten that doesn't happen. But let's get right into it. I do have my little laptop here, so kind of bear with me if you can. Um, and the first game we have, which is the Redskins, I got into that, guys, on a previous video. Um, we have to play the game and... I believe we can get this win. We get this win and we get the momentum rolling. We have to start off good. We want a good start. One and no was important. Two and no was really more important. But one and no first is very important, like I said. Okay, so now we go to the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons is the next team we play. They have a lot of you know, we have a lot of history with them as far as the past two, three years, especially with the Super Bowl run, knocking them out. We played them last year, beat them again. We just basically always kind of beat them. But we don't want to take them for granted. So, like I said, got to play the game. But I like us to win this game, too. I say we win this game, which puts us at 2-0. and Okay, now third game week three which is Detroit Lions I say we I say we beat the Detroit Lions um they did acquire CJ Anderson but I think we can beat them I really do Matt Stafford is a good quarterback but uh you know I still think we can beat them what who we have and what we have the Reds the, uh, excuse me the Green Bay Packers will be week four so you host Aaron Rodgers. They they they're with a new coach. They have a lot of things going on, and um, basically that they're trying to find themselves. So hopefully they don't find themselves. They're not in the mix. Hey, we beat them. We squeeze out of that one. Week five, you go to Le'Veon Bell, Sam Darnold. And uh, the Jets, you get the New York Jets and, you know, you basically see how, see what they're like, you know, and um, they're a new team, things of that nature. I say we beat them too. Okay. Moving on. Week six, you have the Minnesota Vikings. I think they will have our number. And to be honest, week six and week seven, between them two, we may get our first loss. I hate to say this, guys, but it may be true. I don't know. This is just my predictions. Y'all, uh, you know, the the uh, description, about the uh, comment section in the box, that's where y'all could put y'all's at. I think we fall week seven or week six. Week six, we have the Minnesota Vikings. Week seven, we have Dallas. I think we beat Minnesota. I think we fall to Minnesota. Let me correct that. And I think we come back and we beat Dallas. I think we come back and beat Dallas. Being though that we're going to be a little bit upset because we lost, you know, we're, we're going to be streaky. Um, like I said, week seven, I, Dallas Cowboys, you're done. You're finished. You're over. Let's get on to the Bills, week eight. Week eight, I think we beat the Bills. Week nine, um, we play the Bears. 
I think we, I think, I think Jordan Howard gets a little revenge, and we beat them too. We uh, tend to buy New England. Oh boy, that's going to be a tough game, man. Tom Brady is so hard to beat. Um, we beat him in the Super Bowl, of course, but I think this is enough. I think this is a loss for us, man. I mean. They just got Demarius Thomas. You know, they're getting these little weapons around them. I think that's a, a loss. So that's my opinion, but that's what I think. Moving on to week 13, Miami Dolphins. They shouldn't be nothing um, of a threat. I think we beat them. I think we beat, of course, I think we should beat the Giants in week 14. They should be pretty easy. Washington. We should be able to do the same thing we did the first time we played them, guys. I mean, I just don't see, I really, to be honest, I don't see, there's no reason why we should lose more than three games. None. No reason. So, we have the the Redskins, Cowboys, Redskins, then we have the Cowboys again. So I think we split the games. I, I'm not gonna say which one. Maybe we split them, and um, you know, we 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 either one one them or we two zero them. But I think we two zero them. Then we go back to the last game, which is the Giants, and you know that I feel like we will beat them too. Now, with that being said, guys, I feel like to be honest. We shouldn't lose no more than three games. I give us four at the most. As long as we stay healthy. As long as um, our off our offensive coordinator, Mike Grill, opens up the playbook as wide as he can open it. And the number one key, as long as Carson Wentz stays healthy. I think the sky's the limit, man. I really think we could beat every team on the board, to be honest. Carson Wentz healthy, that's very, very scary, man. But those are my prediction, guys. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what y'all think we will go. I say 12. I say I say 13 and 3. Push it 12, 12 and 4. That's my opinion. Let me know what y'all think. Leave it down in that comment section to let me know what y'all think we will go this season. And Twan, this is Twan Eagles 215, and it's always Fly Eagles Fly.